So I took pictures at the beach of this beautiful family, but it happened to be 40 degrees and super gray, um, cold, but they still, of course, one of the beach pictures that were here uh, for a vacation. So we got gorgeous pictures, but there's not much color in the sky. It's just not dynamic. And so what I like to do, I created an action where I put a bunch of photo filters and just sort of paint on the color. And so the first thing I'll do is I'll run this action. I call this one Beach Sky. Give it a second. And so I have all these colors that I can paint on the sky. And so let me move this over so you can kind of read them a little bit better. Mm, doesn't want to move. So I've got I've got lightning and darkening. I like to use the orange for the sand and certain spots on the on the sky. But the first thing I want to do, I don't want to paint the filters over these girls. So I go ahead and go to my background layer and I select them. It's easier to select them than all the rest of the background. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I select inverse. You right click, select inverse. And now basically I'm just painting what's left. So I go ahead and get my brush and black conceals, white reveals. Um, all these are black, you'll notice. And so we go to white. And I'm going to go ahead and set the opacity for about four. And so what we'll do is we'll start by painting on orange. Now the orange isn't, it's not like painting on color. These are filters. And so it just warms everything up. So you paint it on down here. We'll start warming the sand up a little bit. And then I like to do it right here at the bottom of the sky. Just warm all that up. Whoop. Accidentally bumped a button there. So paint all that. And then the next thing I like to do is do a little bit of turquoise. I love doing this over the water. Now I'll paint it over this whole thing right here. And you'll see, I keep bumping something. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, I see. Over there, collecting actions. Paint it all over that water. I also like to go ahead and increase my brush size a little bit here and paint it right here just the top center of the sky. Because the way the sky works, when you have a natural gradient of color, um, it, it kind of it's kind of circular because, well, it's an earth and the earth is round. And so it bends. It's never just straight across. It always kind of has it layered, but in a, like a, in a, like in a U shape almost. Um, so the next thing I like to do is get a little bit of a, well, actually first, let's go ahead and on this turquoise, let's go ahead and flip our brush to take off some of that and I like to do that like right over the top of the white so the white's kind of a truer white it doesn't have that blue filter on it and then let's go to magenta let's flip our brush you can hit X just to flip the brush from black and white and so we're gonna reveal a little bit more so I like to do this right over here on the edge of the the water the pink and then right above where we've that orange now you remember everything in the sky reflects into the water, so you kind of want to add back hints of that color to the water. It's like painting. It really is. Uh, people talk about getting good at Photoshop, but really, if you're good at painting, you're probably going to be pretty good at Photoshop. And if you're not good at painting, get our lessons. All right. And a little bit of violet over here in the corners. Just makes it super pretty. And the other thing I like to do is lighten everything up, because now that you have all these pastels, it's nice to go ahead and lighten everything up just a little bit kind of show off those pastels and make it all super pretty and light. Now the girls we can make them a little bit lighter too so let's deselect this and go ahead and lighten them up to make the whole shot just lighter and airier. And so there's all the different filters and the colors we used. Now let's go ahead and save a snapshot of this and so you can see the before and the after. It just looks so much more dynamic the colors are so much prettier. It makes the whole image so much stronger. Have any questions about how to do this? You can hit me up. Um, I go ahead and compress all these layers. Shift Control E, Command Control E if you're on a Mac. 
And then you just save it just like that.